Which loss was more deflating? The Knicks win over the 76ers or the Nuggets win over the Lakers? Oh, the Nuggets, 100%. And that's not just because I'm a Lakers supporter. It's because the team you're going against, you're going against the defending champions. It's a bigger hill to climb to go to come out of 02 versus the Knicks. I still think Philadelphia is going to win that series. So you agree with Joel Embiid? Yeah, I, I think they win both games in Philly. Like, 100%. I mean, both those games, you could have flipped the coin, and it could have went either way. I, I think they win both games back in Philly. It's 2-2 going back to New York, and then you got a, a two out of three series at that point. I don't. I would disagree wholeheartedly, and so does Eddie Spaghetti, who writes LOL. The Knicks with OG and Anobi have been incredible, and throughout the first two games of the playoffs, still been pretty damn good. And Jalen Brunson hasn't even come close to playing like the player that he has been all regular season. You want to talk about guys that need to step up and play better. Jalen Brunson needs to shoot the ball better. But I think seeing that last three hit front rim spin in, uh, the one that the one before the DiVincenzo uh, second three-pointer that ended up giving uh, New York the margin, uh, I think that shot for Brunson will probably change some things for him in game three. I expect him to have a huge game three on the road. Yeah, see, I don't at all. I, I think Philadelphia's defense deserves more credit with him. And especially in this series, they're allowing both teams to be very physical, as you can see, as they're not calling anything, <laughs> and even towards the end of the game. So I, I fully expect Philadelphia to win. You could we'll quote this right now. I guarantee, to quote another TNT guy, I guarantee that Philadelphia will, will win the next two games. It will be 2-2 going back to the Garden for game five. Book it. Whoa. How about that? <laughs>